everyone welcome to a brand new vlog and just a very special welcome to all our new subscribers here in January all of those of you who subscribe for the 30 day yoga challenge it is great to have you with us so on Mondays we put out a vlog every week and one of the vlogs that you guys request a lot and like a lot are our food mm. vlogs and one of the things you guys like to talk a lot about a lot is food so <laughs> we decided in the new year that we were going to do more food vlogs. So we are on our way out right now to go to- uh, This is gonna be fun. The, I think it is gonna be fun. So Korean chicken tonight. Two new Korean chicken restaurants in Victoria. We're gonna get one dish from each and we thought we would compare them with you. picked up from Simac so far and it's like a kind of like a pub environment as you saw from the name so it looks like you go in there and you have kind of like you know wings and beer and then uh, the, the people in there were really nice the service was really friendly he asked me how my evening was going it's nice because it's right downtown on Yates but right at Wharf there right yeah so it's right on the water so great location for tourists I would say so right in the heart of downtown Yates and now we're coming up Lower Johnson and going to, what's it called? Chicken 649 or something? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on Quadra. On Quadra. So next location. Okay, this was not downtown and it was pretty tricky to find. It's not very well lit, <laughs> but we did eventually find it a couple times past. Here we are. That was chicken yeah. 649. That looked actually a lot more family friendly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because the other place looked like more a place you go after work or late at night to have drinks and wings. Lunch. Lunch, I think. I guess. Good. I don't know. I guess because we don't drink, then it's like that looked a little more appealing to me, even though you said it's no frills. And it looked like a pizza place, but for chicken like they had the way all the boxes were lined up like that you know like yeah, they, yeah, it was sure. busy like the, I, I said it's busy says so yeah it's Friday night but they had just orders and orders stacks. and orders stacks of fried chicken ready to go out they've only been open since September so I think that's like a booming business really it sounds like it yeah and you know what's interesting about it is the well I don't know you can tell me if it's interesting uh, what I thought was interesting was that I've never actually heard of this before. I know. And so, I mean, as ignorant we, as I sound. We don't even know what we're getting into here. But they say, like, if you read online, people refer to it like Canadians and their poutine, Koreans like their fried chicken like really? this. Yeah, like this is a big deal in Korea. Okay. So we're gonna try their food and um, try their food. You know what? <laughs> we'll we'll open up the uh, the boxes. We'll do the big reveal. The big reveal coming up next. I mean, it's kind of a big deal in Victoria because one of the big drawbacks, one of the only drawbacks to moving to Victoria, was the huge lack of ethnic food moving here. It's coming though. It's it's. Over over the last year, it's been coming, so it's last it's been really nice. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's coming good. from a big metropolis like yeah, Toronto. coming from it Toronto, where we were chef. so spoiled, yeah. <laughs> we could have whatever kind of food we wanted any night of the week, and then we moved here, and we're like, oh, this oh. Is <laughs> <laughs> good food. Yeah, there's a lot of good food. There's a lot of fusion food here, yeah. but yeah, not and and, and, and the sushi's not that great here. I like the sushi. Well, there's a few good sushi places but if you want good sushi you really have to go to Vancouver so anyway we'll be doing the reveal very very soon okay we're ready for the big reveal this was the second place chicken 649 oh my god that looks good that looks crazy not very healthy <laughs> but that looks delicious I can see why people would I mean, want it did say deep fried chicken right? yeah so... I could see why people would want beer with that too actually <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it would go down with well, well with a beer. And then this was Chick, Chick Mac, I think it was. Shimac. Shimac. Yeah. You know, that looks pretty good too. I mean, not every night of the week, but I don't know what this, oh, that's probably like pickled something. 
Okay, so oh, yeah. I guess we'll have to, uh, this is not the like first date food. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and this is not even food I'm willing to eat on camera. We'll report back. I'm sure I have chicken between my teeth because I'm a flosser and the chicken's definitely gonna be in between my teeth. But for me, the chicken 649 was the winner. The chicken inside was much nicer to me and also they somehow like this is a wing but there's they've deboned it mostly and there's not a lot of skin and gristle and the, just the chicken was much nicer but tim liked the sauce better on the chick we kind of ordered two different ones we thought we were ordering similar but we ordered different ones this was spicier this one was really sweet you can actually see here this was like look that's honey <laughs> so i i thought it was good but for tim it was a little sweet anyway this was quite good. We could say, what do they say, finger licking good? You could put that in the comments. We, thought, <laughs> we might get banned on YouTube for saying that. <laughs> we might get flagged. So maybe put, um, I feel like chicken tonight in the comments if you got all the way to the end. Be sure to like the video. And you, if you live in Victoria, let us know if you've been to, that's gross, Tim, because it's got my <laughs> eating chicken on there. <laughs> If you live in Victoria, let us know if you've tried out the Korean chicken or if you have Korean chicken in your town, let us know about your Korean chicken places and experiences or if you've had Korean chicken or if you've ever experienced it. It's, it's messy. It's not first date food. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next week. We're going to a hockey game. We're going to share our Canadian hockey experience with you next week.